Hi guys, good morning. Today is Monday, April 27, 2020, and today's class will be indefinite pronouns. What are indefinite pronouns? Pronouns that do not refer to a particular person or thing, but refers to any person or thing in a general way. They are called indefinite pronouns. Let's see an example. Sometimes I just need someone to talk to. I have lost my keys. I can find them anywhere. In these two examples, anywhere and someone are the indefinite pronoun. Let's see these four examples. I have eaten everything in my fridge. I have nothing for breakfast. Anything would be okay. And I need to find something. In these four examples, everything, nothing, anything, and something are the indefinite pronouns. Some indefinite pronouns are compound words of some, any, no, and every. Now pay attention to the following chart. Here we have any, every, no, and some. We use any to talk about people. We can say anyone or anybody. To talk about places, anywhere, and to talk about things, anything, every. To talk about people, everyone, or everybody to talk about places everywhere and to talk about things everything no to talk about people no one or nobody to talk about places nowhere and to talk about things nothing some to talk about people someone or somebody, places, somewhere, and to talk about things, something. What's the difference? Everything. We use it with all things. In a, with a singular verb, everything is packed and we are ready to move to our new house. Something. A thing that is not specified, used with a singular verb, often used in positive statements. Here we have the example. Nina knew something was wrong because her friend's behavior was strange. Anything. A thing of any kind. It doesn't matter which thing. Used with a singular verb, often used in questions and negative statements. I'm hungry. Do you have anything to eat? Nothing equals nothing. Used with a singular verb, not used with another negative. I've covered all the main points. I have nothing more to say. <laughs>